Hey. <laughs> Shalom. Right, Shalom. First and foremost, I like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham Yahushai, Bahasham Rechakorash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and blessings to the elect. Alright, this here is Amma One from the Great Millstone Camp. In Trinidad, coming back to do another lesson through the Holy Spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham Yahushai. Alright, and um, 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 I was just watching this video, which I watched earlier really on today. It's 23 minutes and 16 seconds in. And the brother that you see, to, to the, which would be to the left of, of your screen, is the brother who went by the name of Malag Malagan. I don't know this this brother on his right, or, or which would be his left, which would be the right our right to watch any video i don't know he but i know i know madagan because madagan madagan did the work with us come to do the work with us uh, once or twice and um, so far since then he has been kicked out of great millstone because he was in great millstone he got kicked out of great millstone and he um and if you if you since he got kicked out all right this is how he doesn't know these men and them ain't no serious men of the lord because where have had doctrine it is that they believe that is why you left you never pushed it until a year which which see the end is come watch and pray that is a year ago and five days ago you came out with this video which I now have up on the screen which is the name which goes by the name of understanding the new covenant which in my opinion it was all over the place in the video you, you, you never really come up with a solidified point but the, 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 the topic of the video is that we are underneath the new the new covenant all right we are we are underneath it most indefinitely which i was shy really did come to bring the new covenant yes it's true all right he came to bring the new covenant and by him dying and being and and right and um being raised from the dead by his heaven by his father the covenant um, took effect all right it took effect but the, the the nation all right are not under the fullness of the covenant as of yet because the fullness of the covenant is when we get we get these bodies changed and the lord program us as as israelites to live sinless all right to live sinless where we don't have to teach anybody anymore or go and learn about the laws because it will be written in our inward part all right and it's so easy to cut this doctrine what this man saying here so i will play a little bit of the video all right which it have a part in it it's funny as hell but I will play, play the video, certain parts of the video, and you will hear for yourself what this man talking about. Right? So, uh, uh, oh Don't let that part come for you. Yes, yes, yes. Did Isaiah chapter 42 verse 5 told you that what? He's going to be a covenant of the people. Isaiah 49, Isaiah 42. It told you that he was going to be a covenant of the people. So then, brother, if Paul saying he was the minister of the New Testament, Christ saying he was the mediator of the New Testament, I have no more to say. We are under the New Testament. We are under it. Don't let that part come for you. <laughs> because he asking him, 
Why are we out on the streets, teacher? Oh, why are you out on the streets, teacher? Ask yourself. Ask yourself why are you out on the streets, teacher? And I want to let it be plain and I want to make it be known. I'm not speaking to nobody individually. Who have ears, let them hear. Who like it, let them like it. Who don't like it, let them don't like it. That, that's, that does not have nothing to do with me. You are not doing me anything. Christ is the mediator of the new covenant. Christ was dead, his testament was in force. Mm -hmm. Go back into Hebrews chapter 9. What do you think is that way? Who, who is Christ, way? Who is Christ? Alright? You see, these men is just young men don't know what they got themselves into. The argument in this video is that we underneath the new covenant in its fullness and he and he gave a decree for us for whoever to read Hebrews the first the eighth chapter and the first verse which I will I will read it to, and it disproves his whole video you see that is where pride does come in but we do this not for not for um, <laughs> the brother say ask yourself <laughs> we do this right not for not for no strife and no envy this is business sake you, you butcher in the scriptures or for your youthfulness and your pride you're not humble brethren and you never came in humble, you came in proud. Telling big men standing up. I used I watch him, I see the brother stand up in the midst of big men who are fully mature in this well not fully mature but you know the older than you by fine the truth and you talking in the midst of them and cutting them across. You're like, yo, what the hell? And that was like two years ago now. This is book of Hebrews chapter eight and verse one. It says now of the things listen carefully it says now of the things which we have spoken this is the sum we have such an high priest which is Yahweh Shai right who is set on the right hand of the throne of the majesty in the heavens which is Yahweh Shai Mashiach pursuing to the precept sit thou at my right hand till I make thy enemies thy footstool and it, when you continue to read in that chapter which would become known as Psalms 110 chapter since the could um number and put numbers and chapters in the scriptures right became known as Psalms, Psalms 110 chapter Psalms 110 say thou art a priest forever after the order of Mel the Lord had sworn and will not repent thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek so that deals with our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai Hamashiach Right, that is our high priest who is set at the right hand of the majesty in the heaven, of the right hand of the throne of the majesty in the heavens, which is Yahweh. Right, Yahweh Shai is at his right hand, which Yahweh Shai, all right, became the mediator because he came down here and he understood what we, as men, or as the hopefully like going through, so he could. So that is why also he prayed for us in Psalms. Um, John the 17th chapter because he know so now that at, he at the right hand of the majesty it's not like whew, it's not like Moses which Moses alright was on the earth Yahweh Shai in the heavens we have a close we, we mediate a close to, who, who, you hear that we mediate a close to the master and all that and he know what we going through so he could he could, he could Talk to the Lord direct for me. And all we just have to do is say, say Lord, is pray. Say, Lord, he's my Baba Kosha. I need some help. Thing. And the Lord, could, the Lord could talk to his father, father, you know. Or, uh, and he, or he, could, he could increase it on your own. He could do that. All of these things, the Lord have that power. Right? It says, a minister of the sanctuary and of the true tabernacle which the Lord pitched and not man right it says for every high priest is ordained to offer gifts and sacrifices 
Wherefore it is of necessity that this man have somewhat to offer also. Somewhat also to offer. Right? It says, verse 4, For if he were on earth, he should not be a priest, seeing that there are priests that offer gifts according to the law. Right? Who serve unto the example and shadow of heavenly things. Right? That is what the priests and them used to do. Because they have a priesthood up there. Thou shalt be high priest. Right? It says, Who serve unto the example and shadow of heavenly things. As Moses was admonished of the Mosai when he was about to make the tabernacle. For see, saith he, that thou make all things according to the pattern showed thee in the mount. Right, you could go back in the law and you will see that the Lord told Moses that. But now he had obtained a more excellent ministry. By how much more also he is the mediator of a better covenant which was established upon better promises. Right, and as you could see in Jer um, the Blue Letter Bible, it gives you the, 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 the precept to go to. To see what the Apostle Paul is about to quote. Jeremiah 31, 31 to 34. Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 31 to 34. So he's the mediator of a better covenant. Why is it a better covenant? It's better because in this covenant, whereas in the old covenant, we would have, have a right to be practicing and rehearsing to do the right things because of what this flesh it tells you that. In the book of Romans, the seventh chapter, the Apostle Paul say, "For I know that in my flesh, matter of fact, you know what? Let me get it, because it's, it, 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 it really and truly, it is the war against this flesh. All right, Romans, the seventh chapter, <coughs> and um." And the next thing the man was saying is that we not we not we not the law. We gotta forget the law. Forget the law basically and you know, I don't know, but he just talking madman thing here. This is um Romans chapter seven and um Romans seven and sixteen says if then i do that which i would not i consent unto the law that it is good right because when you're doing the things that you don't want to do you get convicted and you realize that the law is good because you realize what the hell i do there boy then you realize now boy that law telling you to do the right thing right it says if then i do that which i would not i consent unto the law that it's good now then, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. Right. So, the apostles basically saying, even he trying, even if he trying all how and all hard to do the right thing, he will slip eventually. And he says, no more, it's, not, it's no more I that do it, but it is sin that dwelleth in me. This is what he going to say. For I know that in me, that is in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good I find not. For the good that I would I do not, but the evil which I would not that I do. Now if I do that I would not, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. If I doing that I would not, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. Where, where dwelleth in the flesh? And he will go on to say it. He says, I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. For I delight in the law of the Most High after the inward man. But I see another law in my members, warring against the law of my mind. And bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members, this flesh. O wretched man that I am, 
who shall deliver me from the body of this death which is this flesh because you will try all how you will try all how and then you will slip this is why Yahweh Shai has to be glorified and magnified above all <coughs> because he came in this flesh and he walked perfect and lived sinless and, and, and died and, and was risen and ascended and sat at the majesty on high that is why you have to worship him and praise him give him reverence and glory and power and this is why he fathers say this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased hear ye him it says I thank the most high to Yahweh Shia Mashiach our Lord he, he, he come down, it come down to that because he, he's saying basically if 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 it was up to if it was up to us to bring righteousness we would have fucking failed you understand we would have failed miserably because we don't have no way we could have win because it tells you in the book of James let me see if I could get my thing. I can't get let me finish read out that Roman verse. Let me finish read out the Romans. I done nearly finished already. Roman 7 and 25. It says, I thank the Mosa Yahweh to Yahweh Shamashiach our Lord. So then, with the mind, I myself serve the law of the Mosa. Yeah, with the mind, he trying hard to do the law of the Lord, but with the flesh, the law of sin. Because this flesh is a law to go off. It's like a law. And it, you can't control it. You will try and beat your body and bring it under subjection. Alright? You could try and keep under your body and bring it into subjection. You could do that. But you will eventually slip. And when you slip, then... Alright, let me see. Right? Let me see. You live... 10, 10 years keeping the laws perfect and right you're going good and then something come up brap, you slip boom right with that slip right there you you gone through in us so there you're gone through in it you dig you're going through this is the book of James chapter 2 and 10 it says for whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point he is guilty of all <coughs> yeah you're going through you, you, you offended one point you're guilty at all <laughs> that, that, is, that is how dread it is that is where the necessity of our Lord Yahweh Shai come in because he did it and he didn't offend at no point and he he, he he was the perfect sacrifice he was the cleanest sacrifice it, could, it had sinless right and he really came to bring that better covenant to so just like how he was sinless he come to bring that to the to the nation all right beginning with the elect he come to bring that to the nation okay just like how he was sinless now are we sinless as, as of right now are we sinless We are not sinless, bro. That is only common sense. Scripture says sin is the transgression of the law. Didn't it say that? Is the book um, second, uh, second Peter, right? Well, first John, one thing, right? First John chapter 3 and verse 4. It says, Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. This is the definition of sin. Whenever you transgress the law, you sin. So we are definitely not sinless because we do transgress laws. This is why the Apostle Paul go on to say in the book of Hebrews, the eighth chapter, right? I read back from 6 it says but now had he obtained a more excellent ministry a more excellent when you look up the meaning of that word ministry you see what ministry mean mm. ministry come from the greek word i will say it 
Strong's G 3009. Lightor Gia. Lightor Gia. Lightor Gia. Right? And it means a public office, is which is citizens. Which is citizen undertakes to administer at his own expense any service of military service of the service of workmen. Of that which you see of that done to nature in the cohabitation of man and wife biblical usage a service or ministry that of the priests relative to the prayers and sacrifices offered to the Mosai a gift or benefication for the relief of the needy all right and we is the needy all right we is the needy and he come to a yeah. Look, look, chapter four and verse eighteen. Right. So he obtained a more excellent ministry. Yeah, a ministry or a service. Better than the priests of all. Right? By how much more he's the mediator of a better covenant. Because Moses was who brought that old covenant to the Israelites. Alright? And we can read about that. Is the book had, um, see if I can remember it good. I believe that is 24. 20. Right. Right. Exodus 24 and 4. It says, And Moses wrote all the words of Yahweh and rose up early in the morning. What the fuck you know I read from one? It says, And he said unto Moses, Come up unto Yahweh, thou Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, and seventy of the elders of Israel, and worship ye afar off. And Moses alone shall come near Yahweh, but they shall not come nigh, neither shall the people go up with him. And Moses came and told the people all the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, and all the judgments, and all the people answered with one voice and said, All the words which Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai had said, we will do. And Moses wrote all the words of Yahweh, and rose up early in the morning, and builded an altar under the hill, and twelve pillars according to the twelve tribes of Israel. And he sent young men of the children of Israel which offered burnt offerings and sacrificed peace offerings of oxen unto Yahweh. And Moses took half of the blood and put it in basins, and half of the blood he sprinkled on the altar. And he took the book of the covenant and read it in the audience of the people, and they said, All that Yahweh had said we will do and be obedient. Did they keep that? No. Why? Because they sinned. And Moses took the blood and sprinkled it on the people and said, Behold, the blood of the covenant which Yahweh had made with you and your and concerning all these words. And this was only for the Israelites. Then went up Moses and Aaron and Nadab and Abihu and the seventy elders of Israel. Right? And Yeah, that is, that is about it, eh? So that is, that, is, that is the covenant. And Moses is who bring that to them. Now you have a shy. And what is a mediator? A mediator is like the middle person, the middle man. Right? What is that, eh? Yes, no. Right. Moses was that man, but now you have a shy is that man. It says, by how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant which is established upon better promises right better promises to, to sim 
For if the first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. It says verse 8, For finding fault with them, the them is the Israelites, alright, the them is the Israelites, not the, not the actual covenant itself, but the people who have sinned living in the, the you see this the flesh just as the apostle paul say if and james say if you if you're in this flesh and you're trying to keep the laws and you offend in one point you're guilty of all and we didn't keep that covenant that we made with moses we didn't the scripture tell you that in the book of daniel where we get that daniel chapter 9 and verse 12 it says I read from 11 it says ye all Israel have transgressed thy law even by departing that they might not obey thy voice see therefore the curse is poured upon us and the oath that is written in the law of Moses the servant of the Mosai because we have sinned against him see so all Israel have transgressed thy law. Scriptures they all have sinned and come short of the glory. Didn't it say that? So you go back in the Hebrews 8. So it says for finding fault with them, the Israelites, right? Because the word of the Mosai is pure. The word of the Mosai is true. So it's not like the Mosai makes some bad error in the words. That next thing this man was saying that the Lord changed. You don't have understanding. The Lord don't change, bro. You can't show the candy scriptures. Fuck it, we we talk him out. Anyways. It says for finding fault with them, he said, Behold the days come here the Lord when I will make a new covenant. With the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, because the kingdoms had split. Okay? Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not. Said Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. They didn't continue in the covenant and he didn't have no regards for them. Verse 10 says, For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days. What days? What days? What days? Basically, after the destruction, when the destruction reached, that is when the covenant gone fully come into full. Fruition, but fruition. That is when the ground comes into full fruition. Okay? Right now, we begin still small pieces of it in the sense that we could break down the scriptures and simplify it. Well, I part us because in the new covenant, we go on our spiritual power as well the body like fashion like unto his body spiritual power we have spiritual power on our, on our little on our we, we are grace right now and also we have spiritual power on a small level we could simplify the scriptures to the simplest form without going to theological seminary school okay but the fullness of the covenant is when you have a shy our lord returns and he changes our vile bodies and fashion it, it, fashion it, it un like unto his glorious body. This is where the scriptures say in um, the book of 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter. <coughs> right? In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound. No, 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 that makes it up. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. See? 
we need to be changed in order for the covenant to come in fully because this is what the Lord going on to say it says for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days here the Lord I will put my laws in their mind and write them upon their hearts when when that happen that means we sin less than a soldier in other words the Lord go and program we to be sinless just like how it was on tablets a stone representing our stony hearts he go and put it in we spirit and we mind so it, 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 in other words we program to do the right thing fulfilling John the third chapter and the sixteenth verse John 3 16 for the most I so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not die because sin is the transgression of the law but have everlasting life okay says and write and write it upon their hearts and I will be to them a power and they shall be to me a people verse 11 and they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me, from the least to the greatest. Verse 12. For I will be merciful unto their transgression, unto their unrighteousness, and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. Yeah, the Lord, hey. We just still sin. We just still sin. What the fuck you we're talking about? It says in that he said a new covenant he had made the first old. Right. Because the new covenant the first get old. Now that which decayed and waxed old it decayed and waxing old. It didn't it didn't fully vanish away yet. That is why he says getting ready to vanish up. It, 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 it decayed and it's waxing old because I get every day that yeah it, it's getting closer to our shy return it decaying and waxing old this is why we have to be patient and wait for the Lord's return so the new covenant can be in its full fruition decay it come from the Hebrew and the Greek word Strong's G 3822 Palayao 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 and it means to make ancient or old to become old to be worn out that which is well is worn out wearing out of things worn out by time and use yeah it is thousands of years we was on that beyond that and it wearing out again old to declare a thing to be old and so about to be abrogated of the meaning that he would abrogate it. See, the thing is with great millstone, you just look words up. Abrogate, repeal, or do away with a law, right, or formal agreement. Right? Rescind, simply evade. a thing to be old and so about to be repealed abrogated decayed so you're going back right it says and in that he said a new covenant he had made the first old now that which decayed and waxed old is ready to vanish away is ready to vanish away when will it fully vanish away when the lord come when he come with what healing in his wings as it says in the book of malachi the fourth, the fourth chapter and the um i read from verse one it says for behold the day cometh that shall burn as an oven which is when the lord returns right it will be for because luke 12 and 48 say behold i am come to send fire to it 
and what will I if it be already kindled, right? Says, for the holy day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud shall act. Yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord that it of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. But unto you that fear my name, that fear my name, Right, shall the Son of Righteousness, Yahweh Shai, the brightness of righteousness. Look up the meaning of that word Sunday. The sun. get through the come from the Hebrew shamash and it means sun sun sunrise sun opening pinnacles battle and shields right um, to be brilliant because the Lord is brilliant Say what? Say. Um. Oh God, it slipped my mind. But nevertheless, it say, shall the Son of Righteousness, Yahweh Shai, that represents our Lord, Yahweh Shai. But I think slipped my mind there while I was thinking about it. It says, But unto you that fear my name, shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings healing in his wings and shall and he shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall and he shall tread down the wicked for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I shall do the saith Yahweh Basham Yahweh of hosts okay that is what we going and do when Yahweh Shai returns right tread down the wicked but it's he going and return with healing in his wings why he had a heal? We heal we from what? We infirmities. Why we have infirmities? Because of sin, bro. Sin. Okay. So Yahweh Shai, the Son of Righteousness, the brightness of the righteousness of the Lord. The brilliance of the righteousness of the Lord say brilliant to right the bright and morning star Yahweh Shai right arise with healing in his wings right when he come with them chariots on them when he comes with them chariots on them he'll deliver we and heal us of all our infirmities heal us from sin from this body this body of death and he shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall and when you look up as a calf of the stall tall fed calves see says and unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings this is the DBY and he shall go forth and leap like fatted calves. Meaning we'll be fed, well fed and well nurtured from that day forth. Because we get healed from the from the, from the sins that we was committing. That is when that is when Yahweh uh, Shah our Lord reach returns. That is why it say it it works it all and it's ready to vanish away. And then look up that word vanish away. Come from the he the Greek. I keep saying the Hebrew. It's the Greek. 
Strong's G854. Afanismas. 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 And it means disappearance, destruction. It ready to disappear. It didn't disappear fully yet, but it getting ready to disappear. Alright? And that is when it will disappear. When it will disappear fully is when the Lord come back. Because he's coming back with healing in his wings. He would already come from the tree. Strong's G fourteen fifty one and goose. And goose. And goose. Right? near to disappear the word ready means near near to disappear place of and position near to those who are near access to the Mosai Jews as opposed to those who are aliens from the Mosai and his blessing to make nigh alright equivalent to make a proselyte of times imminent and soon to come to pass that is the cut right here so it near it soon to come to pass in its fullness so stop talking filth okay? filth come out your mouth all right The scriptures talk about a novice. Now, I not so long in the truth, but you fucking young, 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 and you just have one sit up right, bro. Calm yourself. First Timothy 3 and 6 says, Not a novice, lest being lifted up with pride, he fall into the condemnation of the devil. And that is what's going on with you. Alright? Break down the scriptures accurate, brother. If we was under the new covenant, if we was under the new testament, then we would not be sinning anymore. And we sinning still. You just trying to blank out your house, shy out of the picture. Cause he trying to build your kingdom here and do what the Lord to come back. That's why the apostle Paul say that they that they all his enemies at the cross of the Lord. Philippians 3 and 2 it says, it says beware of dogs beware of evil workers beware of the concision this is Philippians 3 and 18 it says for many walk of whom I told you before of whom I told you often and now tell you even weeping that they are the enemies of the cross of Yahweh Shia Mashiach whose end is destruction whose God is their belly whose glory is in their shame who mind earthly things okay. who mind earthly things and this these brothers full and full of pride they don't know what going on and they're just talking and it's not no coincidence that it happening days before Pashak or the Passover because you know why spirits just come out on this time in a whole year you do a video what days before Passover you do in a video. <laughs> well your man is glad man, yes. We could watch your video uh, uh, uh you know. If I remember I'll leave the link in the description box. We could watch it and you know, you could do responses because is 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 not he's not he's not complex he's not deep surface he's not even surface level bro pride and go and get your nose humility venture anyways with that i was a shallow woman hey hopefully been edified until the next time shallow to the elect